eastbound track. And there's going to be these lights again, just like the other area with treasures in them. Didn't want to miss them. Mana capsules. This is, I think... Uh, being learned factual analysis. Time to link a new skill. After we heal real quick. Okay. Time to link a new skill to Ming. She learned factual analysis. Now she's going to have to learn... Oh, I'm sorry. She's going to have to learn a new accessory is what I meant to say. Okay. Continuing on. This light post has a very important item. An actual accessory. Oh, wait. That's not... It's the next one. I'm sorry. Next one over has it. Now, if you want to relax and get some uh, magic back, just climb up here. And they put a lot of these in this area for whatever reason. Uh, an excessive amount, if you ask me. You don't need all of them. Because, I mean, if you had Cook and Mac, I could understand it. Or I guess they figure you might be weaker at this point in the game. But you come there just to replenish all your magic back, and then you can continue on. And it's very bizarre that they did that. It's very bizarre that they did that because, you know, with Ming and Jansen, in my opinion, they're actually, if anything, one of my stronger characters in the game. So it's definitely kind of, kind of strange, but whatever, it is what it is, so. Okay, I don't know what these enemies are weak against, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a couple of spells and see if I get lucky. Fire, let's see if he's weak against fire. No. Are they weak against the ground? Yes. So apparently, water creatures are weak against ground. And this is where I got to try to figure out the circle, because it's different, it's not like Final Fantasy X. I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Okay. Water is weak against ground. Wind is weak against... I mean, ground is weak... <sighs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. Seed. So I think it's one of these next ones. Should be the super duper cool item I need. Ice spiders! Alright, he's a water element. So he's got to be weak against... He's water. He's weak against ground. Right? Where is it? It's ground. Water is weak against ground. Yep. Got that one right. I can't afford to lose. Jansen leveled up. Continuing on. Most of the next screen. Rasp side. That's not what I wanted either. Back with Cook and Mac. So slow. Again, this part is just completely unnecessary and slow. I don't know why they added it. But whatever. It's alright. Come on! really should fast forward this part. It's annoying. Almost there! You can do it! There you go. Why not? Your mom can't help you now, kid. 
Looks like the Aurora did exist, though. As you can see, it's like right in front of them. See? Pretty! Back with Jansen and Ming again. What is it? I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? I don't know. Maybe the wind sounded like a voice. Well, if you say it was a voice, then it was. It was a voice. Okay, back with Jansen and Ming. Cure all, that's not the item either I was referring to. Should be coming up. This is it. The warrior's armband. Let's have a look at it. I don't remember exactly what it does, so let's see. Randomly performs a black magic counterattack against the enemy's magical attacks. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so now we're almost done with this place. We have this one last section left, which we're going to want to take advantage of. I believe this is it. Maybe it's the next one over. Yes, this is it. There's a safe point here, as well as a health restore. We're going to want to save the game here, just in case, because I've been recording for like an hour and a, a good hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. And in case, obviously, you probably guessed it by now, why am I saving the game? There must be a boss fight coming up. And indeed there is. Not to spoil anything, but... I'm not going to risk anything. Um, you know, I'm not going to risk anything, and I'm going to save the game before the boss fight. Because if the boss kills me, I have to start all over again from an hour and 15 minutes back. Regardless of whether I record it or not. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. Sorry about that again. More battles. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. And is there an item here? No. So now we just gotta head forward and we're gonna run into, you know, get through all this mess here. Okay. Continuing on. Um. I think. There's nothing here. Yeah, it's just a cutscene. So I thought I could go there, but nope. You automatically initiate cutscene. Oh, come on, little buddy. Come on, come on. Cook. Uh, hang on. Uh, she's so cold. Get up, Mac. Wake up. <laughs> so he naturally slaps him in his face. God. It's me, Jansen. Wake up. <laughs> come on, wake up. Wake up, Cook. Let's do it. Liram, lend me your strength. Give us your light for the lives of your children. Man, I wish I had these kind of powers. Instant frostbite cure. Yes. No more hypothermia. Okay. Good, good. Oh, thank goodness. You're all right. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. You're welcome. Uh oh. Boss fight! Just like I predicted! Okay, so this guy is actually pretty easy. He does one really, really nasty thing, though. Oh boy, I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> so, the only really nasty thing this guy does, um, first of all, let me see. Alright, he's a water element, which means he's weak against. Water is weak against gro ground, so ground is going to tear him up. What I'm going to do is, do I have ground of mine? No, I don't have ground of mine. 
Okay, so we're just gonna constantly spam ground on him. Um, now the two things he d the thing he does that's really annoying is he'll cast a reflect type spell on him, where anytime you cast a spell, it'll be reflected right back onto you. So that's the thing that will really annihilate the hell out of you if you're not careful. So we're gonna want to dish as much damage out as as possible, as quick as possible. And with Cook, we're going to want to cast a couple of shields and barricades. I'm going to go ahead and cast Barricades. A lot of magic cost. But that's okay. And with Mac, I'm going to start off by making his physical attack slightly stronger. Let's see how this turn works out. Already casting Shieldus, which is not good. It means max attacks are not going to do as much damage, but that's okay because our magic attacks are still going to go through, and that's all that matters. And you notice that since it is a boss, he's taking a less damage here. But that's alright. Okay. So we're just going to go back to the groundus or the grounda we were doing we don't have ground this yet and cook see if she has anything else she can cast she can dispel so I'm gonna go ahead and dispel the creature and see if that works and Mac I'm gonna cast one more thing on him No, I'm just going to go ahead and attack. So he's going to do a nice little combo hit on the Living Ice. See how this works. Oh, that hurt. It's not bad for a, for a little boy. Whether it worked or not, I have no idea. We'll find out. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's physical. Jansen. Grounda. Ming. Grounda. She's gonna do. Do I have like some kind of a. Uh... Mac has... I don't know what he has, but I don't want him with it, so I'm going to cure it. Mac can go back to his combo hit. Freeze bite! Ow. Mac is torn up. Come on, cure him. There you go. Okay. Jansen, back to ground. Back to ground. You. You have to do a big heal on Mac. Who is still not moving. Continue the combo. Here you go. Not bad. 644 damage. F physical attacks. And... Thank God they didn't go for Mac, because he would have been dead. We are doing good so far. So this is actually a very easy fight if the guy doesn't use that spell that casts Reflect. Once he uses that is when it becomes very challenging. So, Grounda. Grounda. She's just going to do... Do a regular heal on everybody, why not? And he's gonna go back to his combo hit, which seems to be the most effective attack against this guy. And there's Reflect! That's what I was worried about. Now everyone's screwed. Oh boy, this is gonna get nasty. Yep. 
Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Yep. Wow. Luckily, I know how to counter that. Instant wall. So, not a problem. Heal up. Heal up. She is going to cast a spell on the boss. And this is where a lot of people are wondering where all these other spells I have are going to come in handy. Well, now you're starting to finally see that weird stuff like the spell is actually useful. Oh, boy. Wow. That I did not expect. Holy shit. That was not good. Well, okay then. Jesus. Okay. Don't do anything bad, please. Please, just attack. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, he's gonna do a higher cure. We got healing, higher healing medicines, I believe. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and let's do... Heal Mac. She's going to heal. Cook. Cook is going to cast Zephra. And him, back to your combo. He goes again. Oh my god, really? is uh Max gonna have to finish him off and I don't think he's fast enough to do it right now so I think I'm dead mm -hmm. oh I forgot they're immortal thank god I need another something to bring some else soul medicine Uh Bear with me folks. She needs to get that dispel off. If I can dispel him, I should be able to finish him off. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, this place. Okay, folks, we're going to try this again. I failed the fight the first time, so take two. This time I gotta go all out offense a lot quicker, I think. I'm not even gonna bother with um, 
protections or anything, so... Back to the ground, uh. Ground, uh. Ground, uh. She... White magic. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna still stick with the shield. Oops. All Barracus, and he's gonna go right to the combo. So, let's see if this goes any better this time. It sure didn't last time. Already casting a stupid shield. Combo. So it definitely, as you can see, makes a huge difference. But, uh... That still does a ton of damage, so we're just gonna stick with the groundas, the attacks, and do everything. And pray. Okay, good. Same thing. Grounda. Grounda. Matter of fact, the one thing I forgot to do with with Mac, which I'm gonna do his next turn. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dispel that junk. And Mac, what I forgot to do is he needs to cast the thing to make his offense slightly stronger. Here comes a normal attack. Yes! What a good miss. Thank God. I'm telling you, a lot of boss fights in this game is pure luck on whether you'll succeed or not. You know, depending on what the enemy casts, what you're dealing with, a lot of times you'll get fortunate, a lot of times you won't. That's all there is to it. There you go. Good sequence. Spell... Ronda. One thing we don't want him to do is cast Reflect right in the beginning because we're going to be really screwed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cast this just in case. He's going to go to his combo. There you go. Oh boy. Jesus. That hurt. So, I guess it was a good thing that I cast uh, Barricadus on everybody to protect him against magic, because I probably would have been dead. Come on. Decent heal. Not great. Jansen. Black to ground. Uh, actually, no. Heal stage. Ming will go Grounda. Another heal stage. And he will go to his combo hit. I just have a feeling the enemy is going to cast something. Uh, and he didn't. Uh, better of safe than sorry. Kind of heals. No. Just gotta pray. White magic. Bing. Combo. And there's the reflect I was worried about. Oh god, I'm dead. Jesus. Reflect. Yep. Oh boy. No ground, though. You're gonna do...
you need to dispel his stupid shield. See how I'm having a hard time against this boss fight already when I was doing fine with the other stupid fights? It's amazing, isn't it? Here we go, what's gonna happen? Hook's dead! Unbelievable. And he's dead! Yay! With Cook dead. Cook gets no experience. See how I said that the, the fight is tricky? It all depends on what he casts and what doesn't. So, we won the battle, thank god. But, um... Wasn't it pretty. And Cook gets no experience, which pisses me off. What are you gonna do? All right. I'm okay. What happened to Kaim and Sarah? Weren't you together? Has something happened to them? They were trying to help us when the train derailed. It slammed into a huge wall of ice. There was an explosion. That's all we saw. They might be dead. No way. They're immortals. Duh. Hey, you're joking, right? Even immortals can feel pain. Who cares? Pain and death is different. Pain. If an explosion is powerful enough, it may inflict great pain on the spirit. This pain might be more damaging than the loss of a physical body. They're immortals. I know they gotta be alive. I mean, who ever heard of a dead immortal? Let's go look for them. <laughs> yeah, let's look for them. Aunt Ming, what about the captain? Oh, Seth? Right. Yeah, she's gotten into some trouble of her own. Sorry, distractions again! Phone rings! Dario recording! Phone rings! People walk in! Phone rings! I'm good. Just as I was about to end the episode, I mean, what the hell? <laughs> okay, guys, well, distractions lead to the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time for more Let's Play Lost Odyssey. Goodbye!